All right. This video is going to be titled "My Dumbass." Yes, my dumbass. <sighs> As you can see, we are on continue episode one, and begin episode two is right there. Now I know this seems actually that's a bit stupid to bring up because um, <laughs> we're not that far in yet, but. So, um, if you look at, look at here, uh, you can see point two. See, that's where we left off, but actually, um, I already recorded all of episode one, but I accidentally deleted the file. And because of how stupid, uh, you know, Windows is with, like, I'm guessing large files, um, probably can't get it back, so we're going to be redoing this. So yay, I have to play through this shit again. But here we go. <laughs> uh, I'll try to do this, make the same choice as I did before, and hopefully, uh, yeah. Two White Hill soldiers and a Vulcan. Say the same shit, mostly. <laughs> uh, they killed my family. And for what? For nothing. Actually, for pleasure, I guess. They're old. laughing about it. This never would oh, so what? So what? It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Great. Thank you, Mister. That's much good as that does me. <laughs> and really, what good does that do me? Mm, the blade cuts deep, but I should be able to save your leg. It's a, it was a sword. I cut the deeper than that. Was swift. Big Some ass. Call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots. That's kind of what we're doing, aren't we? <laughs> Hold the wound open for me, would you? But yeah, um, yeah, I cut deeper than that fucking piece of shit greatsword that. He's absolutely useless in that battle. Nobody knows how to use that damn thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this sexy bit. I talked about how sexy this was. It just doesn't—it doesn't feel right doing it again. I don't know. Dark days, I fear. Lose the Lord of the House and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Those words are the same thing. Hours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Trying to be really Our dramatic. Will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. I am the right. Of this house is in Lord Ethan. How dare you say I'm not? Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Oh my goodness. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Wait, well, yeah, hold your dick. I'm you not jerking you off, your sorry. Uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. It's rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Yeah, um... Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate... It's not like he was right there. Masters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here. rather casual about hearing that. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. You know, when you think about it, like... As closely attached as you think these people would probably be... Don't stop now. To others... It's better to let the blood circulate. Some of them seem kind of a little bit too, like, moved on about it. Casual. Already. I don't know. I guess it like I mean I guess maybe with the maester it's like <laughs> maester <laughs> it's the like Ironwood Grove. Um, maybe it wasn't that close. I don't remember. I, I forgot his lore. Uh, all right. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just holding down S wasn't working. Oh yeah, this piece of shit shield. Mm. The strongest wood in the known world. Oh yeah. Well, let me put a dagger to it, fucker. See how strong it is. Hmm. The 
you seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestor Tengren. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> Don't you dare cut my fucking leg off, son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Alright, cool. That was... Wow. 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 Just... Okay, cool. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck. That was totally necessary. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the family portrait. We get to learn about everybody, kind of. Not really, but sort of. Uh, sort of the... Forrester. Dude, it was man. An honor to squire for him. An honor. Greg oh, please, just saying that because he's dead. You hated him. He sucked. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Really? And he died by having a, by a horse sitting on him. Well then, so much for that. Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester. But now she's gonna hate you. She's gonna fucking kill yeah. you. She's still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although. I wonder if they'll bring her home. Uh, well, probably not. It's kind of like enemy territory, sort of, right? Why? Why would they? It's never easy being the fourth-born son. Is there some stigma against specifically fourth-born sons? <laughs> Jesus, they had a lot of sex. I, I suppose it wasn't really that much. I mean, there wasn't really protection back in those days. And it's like, it's like how often it's like the chances of getting pregnant are far higher without protection, so it's like, I mean, Tally how many times could they really have had sex? I like, what, maybe like, now. fuck, I don't know what the odds are like, Asher. well, like, ten times, Exiled to Essos, and five of those were like, oh shit, we popped another one, fuck. Ugh. Hmm? I may be mistaken, you do seem able to put weight on it. Right, so... Uh, a lot of people, I think, miss this, but we got some shit here we can pick up, and it won't—it won't, it won't be for a really long time. But this will eventually come in handy. This, these stuff, so make sure you like take them, cause like, cause like, 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 yeah, they'll be useful. Uh, ish. I'm not actually. Not, well, we'll see. <laughs> this might help. I'm not actually sure how useful they really are when I think about it, but that that's going a bit into spoiler territory, so we'll just worry about that later. Let's look at the bucket of maggots. Because why not? Ugh. What, I liked it. I'd fuck them. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Meaning, no. Meaning, I know, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean about it. Um... No, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Oh shit, I am. Oh, uh, that was because I was fucking, like, up against, like, a part of the fucking table there, and it's, like, game, like, just being stupid. Alright. Whoa, and, like, I'm not even against it there, and it just, it's like an invisible wall. Anyway, let's stare at him. Keep moving, I need <laughs> to see you walk. It's like, I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> that was so inconspicuous, wow. Just the way I could sort of glance over him really suspiciously and then look back. Better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Oh yeah, he's just he's oh yeah, he's just gonna initiate. Alright, whatever. Be my guest. Just Welcome home, Garrett. And speak for me. Relieved won't you? You Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. By that we mean we're just surprised you're not dead. I heard what happened. Is it true? We didn't really give a shit about you. Your family Sorry. Me too. Nah, it's okay. Nah, it's okay. They, they, I didn't really. Up to bed now. Oh, Hurry on. I didn't really like them very much anyway, so. It's whatevs. Garrett was just <laughs> telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. Really? I'm sure Lady Forrester. Not really. Would I like didn't. To know. Whatever you can recall, he saved my life, my lady. Save my life. Yet not Roderick's. Yeah, so you were with Roderick, he no? died. I'm sure it was Don't hold against him. Confusing. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I 
I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save me. Yeah, that horse was just it was too House big. Best. Do you think it's a bit odd that we just presume so we just presume he must be dead? Especially the children. But I was told I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember. They could just be knocked out last. or something. Was there anything he said? Any last words before he Oh, why'd you passed, if you, you can remember? Weirdly come up to me so like that. To the family. He said he loved you. Didn't he didn't actually, but yeah. That's very kind of you to say. He didn't think about you at all when before in his you last moments. Sorry. Ethan should have it now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. No, I'm keeping it. No, you can have it. It fucking sucks. With his family. Thank you. It's just useless in my battle. Of course. Only, it only disadvantaged me and the other people who had it. Like really, it sucks. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Really, it's probably just because we don't know how to use it. So I mean, it's like this was our land. They were our people. Your family. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. They no, don't. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ooh, Ramsay, Ramsay Snow. Snow. Ooh, it's Garrett, Ramsay. You understand what this means. You killed a boy. Oh, I like Ramsay Snow. Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. I don't think he really gives a shit. He just kind of wants to fuck around. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. Well, I already now killed one of them, when? but... We have to be smart. Ramsey Snow will be here within the week. And I and let the other one go. Use? I let two of them go, actually, so... I mean... Would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett yeah. Suffered enough Emotions he beat too much reason. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, Good point. What's to be done? But, that was with the <sighs> anomaly okay. that is will be for Lord King Stark. Joffrey. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him uh, for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. As any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Just one of them? How do you know it was just one of them? They'll say it was well, then you killed it's one of them, so I mean. Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. By that logic, aren't you even? Which is why you cannot stay. Or is that not the guy? Like, how do you know stay. who it was? Doesn't Don't make any sense. The boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have oh no shit! Let them come. Fuck! I'm, I meant to say let them come. That's what I said last time. Shit! The one place that, uh, that was more, more badass. The of the it kind of wasn't. Totally focused. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. Yeah, it's all a matter it's of perspective. Solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No. It's not, but it's what's best. That settles it then. You can I guess it house, does. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much. Like time. how much? The two months worth. Will come looking for you. One box, two boxes, half a box, quarter of a box. One tenth of a box. I mean, what? Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. Why don't you then? I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But Isn't now, he come? I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester I guess it's not him coming. Whatever. You're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. 
His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been well, waiting you're, for the right moment to tell you. It's not really your heart that's telling you that's your brain, but. What? Oh shit. But you don't what know that. It? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. Wait, so he said if, tell only you. If he if he knows a good reason. If he knows Most about this, even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by. If he knows about this, and it's better kept that way. <sighs> I assume you kept your word. You haven't uh, told nope. anyone else, have you? Uh, yes, I have. This is important, Garrett. Um, I told no one. I, told I literally told that right. guy named No One. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. He was kind of a dick about it, but this will be our whatever. Secret. But soon. I may need your help. Well, I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of so this house. So, it kind of confuses me because, like, if he, breathe a word of it to if he know, oh my God, shut up. Become a ranger <laughs> if you can. It will help. <sighs> a ranger. Is that more like with bows and shit? Do I want to you be using swords and stuff? Would that be better? Or I, I don't know. From ice. I am. I don't get to choose that. I don't get to choose whether to save that. What if I didn't want to save that, huh? Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. No, you don't. You just think I will. But you're <laughs> you have very misplaced confidence. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> uh, this is not gonna end well for me. Oh, a necklace. Couldn't you have given to me any time before all this He's happened? Safe. God. Stupid bitch. And you know, uh... Oh, whatever. You know, you, you can suck my dick before I go. I don't have to go right this second. I mean... No? Okay. Whatever. Off to my journey with the horse. This will be a friendship bonding experience Ethan. between a man and his horse. And nothing more. Ethan. Don't get any of your bestiality ideas here. That ain't happening, not with not with this story. I couldn't find him. Could you? That's the whole point of hide and seek. You're, you know, there's supposed to hide, there's supposed to seek. Too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. Why? That's not part of the anymore. game. Makes you suck. Maybe You're losing. To him. Scrub. Ethan's bad. Fine. You He's suck. Just forgotten this is a game. I haven't. I'm fucking playing it. You don't. These people are incredibly stupid. Ryan, look who we found. Oh hey! If you knew I was there, why didn't you just fucking find me? You dumb. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. You're stupid. Yeah. I don't like it. Just because you suck at it. You were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. I well, I, I I might be going somewhere, I'm but better. you know. Thanks. You don't I have to know. It. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I she's promise. probably more likely to die if she leaves. I don't know, whatever. Won't dare to die either. <sighs> Mr. said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royan <sighs> talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about Just me, someone, not but I'm nothing specific. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royan for one. 
He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> um, he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royan forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. <laughs> but I know it's not good. <laughs> you should let Sir Royan teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught oh. Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight properly. I mean. Are you saying you even you could beat me? How to fight. God damn. Looks like a kick his ass. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. Yeah, it's stupid. It's so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. He never smiled anymore. Asher. Literally never. Not angry. once did a smile Everything. come on his face. Promise me you won't be like that. And Asher was literally angry all the time. At everything. Like the way you are. How the fuck do you live like that? Wouldn't you just like basically I kill yourself at that no point or just kill everyone else? But you don't need to be uh, like that. I promise I won't change. Good. Because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. A brother and a lord. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. <laughs> Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Yay. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. See, why does she get so bitchy about that? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Look at that face. Like, what? She's just jealous. Lord Aethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Um... Sir, I will remind you, I am Lord Ethan, not Squire Ethan or Bitch Ethan. What so, matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's gone oh demanding boy. justice. Why is that so Our unexpected? Duncan, per se. He is the Castellan. Stay with us. He's Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must All right, well, I'm the Lord, so I can choose whether I go or not. You are the Lord. He's my Why audience, you bitch. I would command Ethan to stay. Mind him, <laughs> Lord. Let's do it. I might remind you, Sir Royalin, I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, <laughs> not you. <laughs> of course, my. <laughs> it's okay. You should go. It's yeah, that's right, bitch. Done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Okay, it doesn't even matter what I say. It's just like, you know, you still have to go. Let's go, okay, cool. Thanks. So, Whitehill made it sooner than Ramsey. I suppose that could make sense. He is far closer, after all. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. A business with Garrid. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. Well, he doesn't no he difference. doesn't know that he was, right? The Whitehills were clearly in the he doesn't wrong. know that so we took him away. Him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do well, I'm the Lord regardless rash. of what I do, bitch. Think That's how the title works. Tell him to go. Just for the time to fuck off. Lord Whitehill <laughs> more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more well, we're fucked. Stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. And if just his army alone is five times more, then <laughs> what chance do we have? I guess if our defensive measures were really, really good. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and. How brother. dare you not know my name? If to ask. You're not very well educated, are you? No, I'm not ignoring your fucking hand, bitch. That's right. He does it anyway, so it's like, why would I bother? He's gonna try to trick me. Don't test me. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. 
Young. Yeah, you fat fuck. You're hard up, boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of Oh, you're one of these fucking prudish little shits. Bread and salt. You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody forest. There really gives a shit about this guy really wants his bread and salt. <laughs> yeah, you are old. Who the fuck just eats bread and salt? You foresters have shit on us for generations. It's a fucking shitty well, meal. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. He's not a... He's not a cunt. He doesn't even have a cunt, does not control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Is this is this is this predating like is this like dating a long time ago? Before he says even alive? Or something? What he's talking about there? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Oh, Even he's gonna go. Yeah, you seem really trustworthy. <laughs> he's gonna give us the whole no sob story routine. No reason. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men, and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire? Yeah, but he was getting attacked. So, what's your point? How do you answer for your men? Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Oh, I'm pretty sure a hundred pig farmers would be able to kill one soldier. I know he's here. What have you done with him? Never seen him. Never here. Little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible, and you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving. Why? That doesn't make sense. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. How about you just get out what of here? What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you Look at this guy. He's all talk. No walk. I mean, no disrespect to you, my lady. He just, he just, he just went into bitch. He just went into little bitch mode, just like that. This is not over. Oh, and then when he looks at me, all of a sudden he's like really tough and shit. Thank you for coming. For coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. If he declares war right at that moment. Actually, I guess we are technically in war. That's what they say, anyway. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting well, him know a forester man killed one of his own. Tell him I'll suck his dick Lord if he can make Forrester me the, his to man. My face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Yeah, we will. We'll see who it is when I fucking suck his dick, You're man. A craven, Lord Whitehill. He's not gonna turn that offer down. Especially not for someone as young and inexperienced as me. That'd be far too tempting.